think it's hell in now if y'all can hear it smacking against the truck. Oh man, it's bad over here. Oh man, that's a truck flipped over. That's crazy. Radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. Flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the warned area. I know y'all can't see nothing, but I'm right here like at the borderline of Oklahoma and Texas and the power is out over here. Hey, what is up Slime Pack Nation? Listen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe button, and leave a comment after the video is over with. And if you old here, still do those things. Um, We're going to go ahead and jump straight into this video because I noticed that I forgot to talk about the details of this load. So I picked this load up last night, which I seen in my previous video, and I was supposed to talk about it. So we're getting ready to discuss it right now. Uh, one second. All right, so this load picked up in Illinois and is going all the way to Laredo, Texas, all the way down there to the very bottom. I don't have to take it to the prime terminal. It's usually whenever we have loads going down that far, they be going to Mexico. So we have to drop it off at the prime ink drop yard. And then from there, it'll get shipped on. But we're not doing that. This load was a total of 140 empty miles, 1,262 loaded miles. This load is paying a total of $3,487.10. If you're paying attention to the screen, then you can see that the revenue is way more than what I said, but that's only because of detention pay. So y'all know I had to be doing some waiting for the detention pay to be that much, but we're going to get into that later on. And as y'all can see right there, low has to remain on a temperature of minus 10. But yeah, if you watched yesterday's video, I picked it up from the Tyson. It was a dropping hook. And this is a live unload at the drop-off location. I did see in the prime notes that they take lumper feeds and the lumper feed is cash only. So I got to remember to grab some cash before I head down there. But right now, y'all, we getting ready to get off this truck. I'm getting ready to take myself out to eat. It's a Saturday. The sun ain't shining, but I'm still in a good mood. I feel like taking myself out to eat. It's a Walmart right here some kind of ice cream place i don't know i'm finna be just hopping all over the place so um uh, i'm not sure what this video is gonna bring but i'm gonna bring y'all a good video today so like i said like comment share subscribe and i think we're about to go eat first yeah y'all see i ain't even got my little button up on today i'm dressed i'm dressed down i'm ready for the day because it is crazy windy um let me go ahead and talk about this today is april the 27th and i'm in the little tornado warning location i'm sitting in kansas city and it's in kansas texas oklahoma and somewhere else is in like a little tornado warning yesterday i think it was nebraska they had a tornado so i hope everyone is safe and i hope everybody is doing good but um let's get ready to go y'all Bees in so long. What's they got now? Not sure what I'm eating. Babies. 
some pasta where I can have some meat for tomorrow. I eat half the day and half the morning. Or some ribs. Not sure. Yeah, I'm from the south, so that means I'm a sweet tea kind of girl. Anytime we go out to a restaurant, I get sweet tea. But I be forgetting about whenever I come further west, they don't be having sweet tea. They be looking at me like, oh, we can give you sugar packets. Nah, just never mind. Just never mind. We got the food. I'm about to go ahead and split this in half and take half of it back on the truck. These ribs better be tender. Falling off the bone. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. They look tough. That's a little tough right there. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. It ain't falling off, but it's coming off the bone. They're basic. <laughs> After I just talked about not wasting food, I ain't even gonna show y'all the plate. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. I rate this Applebee's a 4.5 out of 10. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Bro, there's no way. Listen, I know the wind is blowing. But something said I wish it had a Starbucks. I looked up and they got a Starbucks, but it ain't even open. Dang. I gotta talk to y'all in the store because it's so windy outside, y'all can't hear me, but the Applebee's was a complete waste. So I'm over here at this market slash ice cream place, burger place, and I'm gonna get me some ice cream and just, and just call it a day, y'all. It's so many stores over here and hotels. Like in case you wanna get off the truck and get you a hotel, you can do that. They got so much ice cream right here. But this is not ice cream I'm talking about. Oh my God, look at that. But yeah, this is not ice cream I'm talking about. I'm talking about ordering something right here. I'm gonna get butter pecan. Do y'all mm. say butter pecan or butter pecan? The wrong for we say butter pecan. Can I get a butter pecan banana split? Yeah, and no cherry. Y'all can't believe that Apple cheese like that. I hate when people just be staring like, what you looking at? I'm gonna stare back. We get ready to taste this banana split. Mm, I got more bananas on the truck. Hold on now. That's some good ice cream right now. That cool whip is. What is that? 
buttery. It's pretty good. Let me get down to the banana. Get out of the way. The banana egg. There we go. I think I done had enough of this. I just been wasting money all day, y'all. I feel so disappointed. All right, now next stop is Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree literally, what's the quickest way? Right next door to this. Now they got an IHOP, Pizza Hut, some other kind of pizza place. This burger, ice cream place. Um, Applebee's, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Domino's. And it's some more stuff too. How you doing? Thank you. All right, y'all, we done. Going back to the truck. Y'all see, I didn't go to Walmart. I only spent $8. Oh no, oh, it's starting to drizzle. Perfect timing. I think it's hailing now, if y'all can hear it smacking against the truck. Y'all, we're getting ready to go in the store. See what they got to offer. They do got showers in here. Somebody said the showers was nice. So if you do decide to stay here, they do have showers. I'm going to check and find out for y'all. It ain't as windy as it was earlier. Well, thank you, ma'am. I got them bugs if you need it. And the showers are right here. You got one shower and you got two showers. Good quality ice. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. All right, y'all. Let's get ready to knock these miles down. The goal is to do at a minimum of 450. Start navigation. You are heading to Continental Forwarding Laredo, Texas. Maybe 500. 500 miles. That's what we're going to do today. Hopefully so. So, I'll see y'all somewhere tonight. The expected rainfall rate is 1 to 1.5 inches in one hour. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is already occurring. You can expect life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source. Fredonia, Erie, Sedan, Cedarvale, Fair, Altoona, Longton, Elk City, Galesburg, Elk Falls, Sycamore, Earlton, Buxton, Elk City Lake, Hale, Elk City State Park and Chinook Airport. Flood warning in effect until 11.30 p.m. this evening. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where portions of South Central and Southeast Kansas, including the following counties, Kansas, Fowley. In Southeast Kansas, Chautauqua, Elk and 
done made it here to a lungs. I'm about to check the fuel on that trailer to make sure we good. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my 30 minute break and get my coffee. It's after 12 o'clock. Now I'm gonna get my coffee because today is a new day. Cause I had coffee already yesterday. So it's been 24 hours now. All right, so right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to maybe find somewhere to park. I'm like 160 something miles away from Texas. I'm gonna try to get around Dallas, Texas. I'm looking at this road ranges is like 344 miles away and fuel there is 278 because I know I'm gonna need some more fuel. I think what I got in the trailer, I'll be good until I get to this road ranger. Cause the rest of the way fuel is like in the 280s, like 10 cent higher. The further south I go, it's a 273 right there. But I think that may be off my route. So yeah, I'm going to figure this out, y'all. And we're going to hit the road. See if y'all can see the uh, wind blowing the rain. I know y'all can't see nothing, but I'm right here like at the borderline of Oklahoma and Texas. And the power is out over here. I've been listening to my uh, my weather update stuff. And basically, I'm just following the storm, basically. But they saying that Texas weather is going to be the worst all over the United States. So, yeah, we almost at Texas. They got plenty of police, like, a mile back. And it's just a lot going on. I was trying to go somewhere and catch me a nap. But uh, it's literally no room here to even make a spot. I'm sitting right here in front of the scale trying to figure out a plan real quick. So we got traffic. Traffic at a standstill. I seen the um the backup on the GPS before I got here. So I was gonna take the take a little detour, but they had that blocked off too. probably about to split my clock we've been in traffic now for an hour and 19 minutes we still ain't going nowhere well slime pack nation it has officially been two hours since we've been stuck here on the side of the road in this storm i didn't had enough time to edit a video i done warmed up my food ate my food <sighs> It is currently 6 a.m. Oh man, it's bad over here. Oh man, that's a truck flipped over. That's crazy. Follow the highway. 
I just made it to my stop and they power literally just went off. It flickered back on and it went off again. The storm done beat me here. But um, this is supposed to be a nice truck stop with some nice amenities. I may review it, but the way it's looking, I ain't getting out of this truck no time soon. So I may tune back in with y'all earlier or I just may tune back in with y'all whenever I get ready to, whenever I get ready to deliver this load so in the beginning of the video I said I wanted to do 500 miles it's like I'm right there at it if I'm not mistaken I think I'm two miles short I originally was gonna park at the road ranger and I think that's like 10 more miles down the road but that rain got crazy so I said I'm gonna just go ahead and pull it over here see we only got like six hours to drive whenever I alright we got a little break from the rain look like the sun trying to come out back that way let's see if we can make it in this store if they have power back on the sun is out it's like 70 something degrees but it's got a cool breeze so it's not hot let me check on this fuel why not jump draining so much nice it kind of puts me in the mind of uh, that other one I went to Chevy's they do got a kitchen look like mostly chicken and pizza and I do see tacos but yeah you're using truck stop stuff they do have restrooms showers they got a, a lounge and it look like they got a uh, the workout equipment. I ain't gonna say a full gym, but it says exercise. Nice, nice. Look at that. Okay. It looks like they got a total of six showers. You know, they got that that ooh ooh to make you feel right look at these boots all right slime pad nation pre-trip is done windows is looking so clear and crispy uh we're getting ready to go down the road about 18 miles i'm gonna add just a little bit more fuel in i don't know if y'all can see that I got like 360 more miles to go. So I'm gonna add in just a little bit more fuel. And we're gonna head over to this receiver and 
park it up for the night. I think I only got like a maybe a five and a half to six hour drive. So we done made it to the Road Ranger. I done got my fuel. But um the biggest thing I like about Texas is the parking. Like you can always find parking. And then the truck stops, they just be so unique. I haven't ate today, so I need to just grab me something real quick.
y'all so we done made it and they said check in is at five o'clock and it's currently like 3 40 so i might as well just stay up so i can go ahead and get in the front of the line and the uh the older gentleman he asked me that i need some help you know i try to say you know no in a polite way but uh he still came over and helped i'm not one of those type of females where i'll be like i don't need your help i got this if he want to help he could help and i really had it on my own but i still appreciate him for his help Y'all, this is gonna take forever. It is currently like I'm gonna just go go ahead and say 6 a.m. They got a total of 5,555 trucks out here waiting to get checked in. And some guy that came in, he said he been out here since Friday. They left him here Friday, so I don't know if they was closed over the weekend or what. But that's crazy. Now we gotta go climb this mountain. Let's go get to my truck. But yeah, y'all, I promise you, I will never pick up nor deliver there ever again. It, it, it wasn't even about the wait time. It's about the respect. Because I'm very respectful to people and I'm polite to people. But there are other things that happen. I ain't going to get into that. But yeah. I don't care if Prime was paying $10,000. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to spend a block on that. But come on now. We all know Prime ain't paying me no $10,000 to pick up from there. But yeah, y'all. I don't know. That's the first time I ever felt, you know just disrespected and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. 